Race 13, Enios Britannia, Orient Express Racing. Orient Express high in the box, jiping round. We'll probably try and get some depth, so they're back in line with the start. Still a minute to go. Enios jumping there, so leading back. France coming for the push. Okay, on croise les lines comme. All about the time and distance. Are they early? Okay, super. A little early there, Ineos. And I think duck down, both boats having a duck. This is the umpires, uh, OCS GBR, get behind, OCS GBR, get behind. Canada. Slightly over Enios Britannia, they've got to get behind 75 metres against Orient Express Racing. Enios Britannia, 40 centimetres over that line, and we heard the surprise on board. French will need to hit them hard here, make them pay. That's Massive a really opportunity, isn't it, for uh, Orient Express? GBR, 13, 40 metres to go. Penalty clear. No room to tack back to the boundary either there for Enios, so this will hurt for a little bit. Yeah, what a cracker, and uh, Enios just got their uh, time on distance slightly wrong, and it just, uh, that 75 metres at these speeds doesn't sound a lot, but it's just the pain that you have to suffer to fall back behind that leading boat by 75 metres. But uh, this turns this one into a real cracker of a race. Such an opportunity for the French team Orient Express. I mean, really just sort of cal calm down, uh, stay with the opposition, try and keep it simple. If they could get a win on the board from this race, this is a big scalp. Orient Express Racing hit the top mark for the first time. They are leading the challenge of record. This is a brilliant race. Race 13 of the Louis Vuitton Cup. Good sailing conditions, fast boats. So much more to play out here off the coast of Barcelona. Orient Express Racing follow, are being followed around by Enios Britannia. Oh, fantastic battle here. Nice jibe, both boats. Ineos sailing faster. Orient Express a lower soaky mode. Very, very different modes there on both boats at the moment. Speeds will equalise, but Orient Express racing will have to be careful they don't sail the boat too low and slow here. Les targets de boat speed ont l'air plutôt bonnes, on est à ouais, deux, deux en dessous. Pour l'instant c'est Wen et Nin. Ok, oh, ça me va de speed. Un peu, on est un peu trop serré, je pense. Nothing in it. Heading towards the bottom mark. The fact that they've Simo jive means that they're both bow on bow. And it's Britannia on starboard. They have all the rights. Great race. The change at the bottom mark. Advantage Enios Britannia as a complete leg two, but only just. Orient Express Racing going around that right hand mark as you see it. Massive, messy manoeuvre from Orient Express. Right of way boat here, surely Orient Express Racing, so decision time here for Enios Britannia. Lead change. 
comms coming off the British boat is that they like that right-hand side. Better pressure out to sea. So they were happy to leave the French and head over in that direction. Marginal cross called by Quentin de la Pierre. Right of way boat now, Ineos Britannia. Oh, it's a big dip. And another lead change in this race. A great battle. Three lead changes so far in race 13 of the Louis Vuitton Cup. It is as close as you can get as they head towards the top mark to complete the halfway stage of this race. Right of way boat, now the French. Oh, pushing it for the cross there. The British, I'd say that's too close. Whoa! What will umpire Richard Slater say to that? Well, the protest has come from France. We'll just wait and hear the decision. This is the umpire's penalty GBR. Oh, that is a GBR. massive penalty for GBR there. Surely the French on lay for left turn. Shows the head towards the top gate to complete the halfway mark. The penalty cleared. French get a huge advantage with the penalty, which is now cleared on that cross. It goes Britannia now have to play catch up, but we know downwind. Britannia's quick. Absolutely not over this race by any stretch of the imagination. The voice of Lee McMillan. We have a piece of them on this tack, on this next cross. Cross. They're optimistic. And it won't be the, won't be tacking there. That's, I'm not sure that was the right move there by the French. They've put themselves in a difficult position to come off that boundary clean and open the door there, in my opinion, for the British to hurt them on the following tack. So, very, very close race here, but they will have to get out of that boundary with clear air advantage in the Ospritania. Well, the British too late there to really hurt them then, so just a little late there matching. Let Iron Express racing off the hook. They've got a breath of fresh air. They'll have to sail their boat well across here to not get locked out on the next tack, so race is fully on. Interesting manoeuvre again by the French there to head back. They've got quite a big game there for the British, surely. Back to that right-hand side, quite a, a big, big game there for the British team. Ineos Britannia heading to the top gate for the final time in race 13. Good gain on for Britannia in a very, very busy race 13. Race 13 of the Louis Vuitton Cup Challenger Selection Series has had a little bit of everything. Four lead changes, a penalty, imperfect roundings by both teams, but guess who gets the valuable point and their third win in the series? It will be the challenger of record, Ineos Britannia. That's three wins now. And we confirm a race 13 in round robin as we near the end of round robin one. Enios Britannia with a 16 second win on Orient Express Racing.